Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our live stream. It is nice to see you. I have just got back from a cruise. I'm back in uh, chilly England, but I did see the sunshine. I can confirm the sunshine does still exist. I took a very cheap last minute cruise on Celebrity Infinity, which is one of the oldest, smallest celebrity ships. And I'll talk all about it during this live. I also got to go on the new Sun Princess for about three hours, which was very, very cool. So if you have any questions about those, if you have any questions about anything, leave them in the chat. And if you can start your question with question, that really helps me to pick it out. Just like Sean says here, start it with question and it helps me to find it. I will answer as many as I can, of course. And thank you to the moderators who look after these chats. I really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. There's so many of you already in here. And if you're watching this on the catch up, thank you very much. It's nice to see you. This is the week, I think maybe a couple of weeks of the year where we haven't changed our clocks yet, but the US has. So if you're watching this from the US, you're probably watching this at a different time. Um, so thank you for making it. Hello to everyone who is in the chat. It's very, very nice to see you. Very nice to see you. Um, I'm just going to put back up my overlay for the video because we do have a sponsor today, which is very exciting. It's maybe four years in the making. And it is this amazing company that makes these maps in the background. So I'll talk more about that a little bit later. Uh, Bill says, should I bring my Captain Hudson on a singles cruise? I think he would help me clean up with the ladies. <laughs> Well, I don't think it would hurt, Bill. Um, maybe explain who, who Captain Hudson is. But we have just closed version four, the sales of version four of Captain Hudson. And we have 2093. Yeah, 2093 Captain Hudson version four. That is this one going into the world. And I don't know yet how much profit that is for Mercy Ships. We donate all the money from these to Mercy Ships because I have to wait and see, you know, do people need refunds or remakes or anything like that? But it should be at least $25,000. So thank you so much to everyone who bought version four of Captain Hudson. We do have 100, 174, I think, at last count. I keep recounting these. Uh, but we have 174 going to the Mercy ships for the children that are on there. So that's very, very cool. Um, how do we ask him a question, says Alex. Alex, you have just done it. <laughs> so just do that again and with another question. Uh, was both your cruises enjoyable? So I only took one cruise. I took a cruise on Celebrity Infinity and it was fantastic. It was from Greece. So I got to see the sun again and it was really nice to cruise on a sort of smaller, very chilled out ship. It was not sold out at all. And the sun, just to see the sun was amazing. But we were docked in Athens overnight. So we had a full day in Athens and then the next day we got off. And it was that day when Sun Princess, the brand new princess ship was docked in Athens. And I always take a cruise. And when I get off, I look at the other ships and I wonder, like, it'd be so good just to wander in there and have a look around, right? But normally you can't do that. Um, but I had a friend on board, Don. I'm sure if you watch a lot of cruise YouTube, you'll know Don. And he sort of sweet talked somebody and he got me a media pass for the day. So I got to go on board and I got to meet Sherry. I got to meet Alana. I got to meet JJ Cruiser on there. All, all kinds of people. It was really, really cool. Really cool. Yes, the window has closed for the Captain Hudson's. It was open for three weeks. And I think I, I feel like I perhaps annoyed people with saying it so many times, but I wanted to make sure that people didn't miss out. Um, if you join the wait list, of course, I'll let you know when the next one is available. But yeah, very pleasantly surprised. This is the, the best selling Captain Hudson that we've had out of all of them. Have you always been a fanatic cookie eater? So when I look at my photos of me, maybe... I don't think I have any pictures of me with cookies on my very first cruise when I was 11, but I took my second cruise when I was 13 and there's pictures of me and my brother eating cookies. So since I was at least 13, <laughs> I've been eating cookies. I actually have some cookies here, um, which were sent to me by Fred Olsen, the British cruise line. But I'll just show you these because this, who knew that you could combine together cruise ships and cookies? I don't know if you can see my light is there, but look at that. <laughs> That's pretty amazing, right? I haven't eaten them yet because these ones apparently last until November. And I'm thinking of all those times that I don't have any snacks and I really need a snack. So I'm keeping these as like emergency, emergency cookies, which is very cool. Um, can you point to your favorite part of the world on your map in the background? Oh my goodness. My favorite part of the entire world. I mean, the best... If I had to go to one place right now, it would probably be Japan. Um, I do actually have here. So I thought I wanted to show you this map. It's been in my background since 2020. So I reached out to the company. They're called Enjoy the Wood and they're from Ukraine. And they've sent me one to give away. 
and I have it here so I can show you it close up because I get a lot of questions saying, you know, what do all the different colors mean? This is what it looks like close up. So it's not like you have to put together every piece of every single country. This is a big chunk. This is a big chunk. But then you just stick these to the wall. So it's very, very easy to do. As always, my discounts, Emma Cruz is, I just keep that, keep that as easy as possible. Um, oh, yes, yes. Don sent it to Tony. Yeah, Tony, unfortunately, he wasn't there. He was recovering um, back at home, I think. So he wasn't there. But it was, it was it just the stars aligned. It just worked out really well. Um, who do you know through YouTube who you'd like to meet in real life? I would like to meet my friend Will from Trek Trendy because we've been friends for a very long time. But getting him and me in the same, I mean, we both do cruise content, but he does very luxurious content and I tend to do budget content and we just never cross. <laughs> it would be really cool to do that. So hopefully. Uh, haven't you set your clocks ahead yet? No, I think it is the end of the month, I think. So not yet. We're, we're still in the same time. Uh, Tony had FOMO. Yes. Oh, bless him. It would have been lovely to have him there, of course. Question is, did Infinity feel dated and which specialty restaurants are there? So I didn't go to any speciality, speciality restaurants. They do have the one where they project the little chef and you eat and, and all of that. Um, apart from that, I didn't even look at the speciality restaurants, to be honest, because it wasn't something that I wanted to do. But they do have a couple on there. It's not as many as you'd find on Edge or anything like that. Uh, but did it feel dated? So this ship was built in 2000, launched in 2001. And that's quite a long time ago. That's the same time as Monsters, Inc. <laughs> came out. Um, and the first Harry Potter, apparently. So I've heard. So yeah, quite a long time ago. And the design of ships in 2001 was very orangey wood and very colorful carpets, crazy colorful carpets. Uh, basically, everything inside the ship has been changed. I think almost every carpet has been changed, probably every carpet. Uh, every chair is different. Curtains are different. Bedding's different. You know, they used to have the like uh, red bedspreads with the skirt things on them. Now, of course, it's nice white bedding. Um, but apart from things that they couldn't change, you know, they can't change the wood color, like now it tends to be more of a Scandinavian wood. I don't know how to describe it. But apart from things that they couldn't change, there was nothing broken. There was no like rips. It wasn't as if this chair has been here since 2001. It's had a lot of refits in that time, a lot of refits. So yeah, like you could tell the age because it is that age, but it's not like you could tell because it was falling apart. I never saw a leak anywhere. You know, I've been on other cruise ships where there's leaks in the corridors from the ceiling or in the theater. There was nothing like that. Um, nothing was broken. Like she's looked after, but you can, you can tell, of course. There's certain things that they used to do on cruise ships. Like the the coolest thing was to have one big massive dining room with a staircase and big windows. And I personally like that. But the trend now is sort of for having smaller restaurants. So I took a cruise on Celebrity Edge, which is a newer version. She has four main dining rooms and each one has its own theme and it's a bit more intimate. Things like that. Um, <laughs> Monsters, Inc. isn't new. Monsters, Inc. is a brilliant film, but no, it's not. It's not new. I did do a, a fancy dress when I worked in my last office. We went as a um, Sally, Boo and Mike, which was pretty cool. Yeah, the older ships tend to have superior layouts. They do have very good layouts. And I think that they have more space per person. I don't have the data to back it up. But if you look at new ships, they often have things like laser tag. You know, you're not going to find that on a ship from 2001. So you find more space for um, just just sitting around, you know, just sitting by the pool, just sitting inside. Um, 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 um. <laughs> so many questions. I could just sit here and just watch them go up and down. Uh, thank you very much. Why are river cruises more expensive than ocean cruises? Fantastic question. If you want a more in-depth answer, if you exactly copy and paste this question, it'll come up with my website because I've done a lot of writing about this. But basically, it's economies of scale. You know, there is only probably a hundred people on a river cruise ship, but they still need, uh, they still need like everything that you'd need. <laughs> they need engines, they need uh, kitchens, they need laundries, they need everything. And if they can get 5,000 people using the same, it just is cheaper. So um, there's also limits on how big river ships can go. They can't really get wider. They can't really get taller. They need to get under bridges. So yeah. 
Um, also supply and demand. Like a lot of people want to do river cruises and they're, they're very good. Uh, Dean says, what is today's Britishism? You're going to have to let me know because I tend to do these live streams, say things without realizing it. And then you tell me it's a Britishism and then I use it in a video. That's the plan. I have, I have spent today writing my script about Celebrity Infinity and I haven't put a Britishism in it yet. So thank you for reminding me because that is not done. Um, yeah, Jenny says we loved Aurora, even though the, the dated pink sparkly shower. Yeah, I've been on quite a lot of cruise ships where they have like orange bathrooms, blue, green. It's not really the fashion now, <laughs> but as long as it's clean, that's the main thing. Yeah, fancy dresses are Britishism. Yeah, meaning just um, costumes, costume party. Yeah, fancy dress. Uh, Stephen says, have you ever been told to stop filming on a cruise? I have twice. Once is in the casino, which is... I think illegal. So fair enough. And the second time it was at the very beginning of my sort of YouTube journey. And I was filming in, I think the solarium or inside somewhere. And I was told off because people are in the pool. Like I would never even try and do that now, but I just didn't think about it. Um, so that's the only time. Yeah. Ah, tricky question from Anna, which cruise lines in Europe seem to have the best deals for this summer? Um, there's plenty. I mean, if you are up for doing a more European cruise line like MSC, like Costa, they're often half the price of the American cruise lines. And I think it's fun. I think it's fun. <laughs> um, how much UK currency for tips should I bring for four days in London? I mean, I don't spend any cash in, in the UK. I have not used money for about six months. I just use my card for everything. If you're eating out in a restaurant and you want to leave a tip, you can just add it to the card machine. Um yeah, <laughs> so I'm probably not the person to ask. Probably not. Um, yeah. <laughs> Love that your dad's here. Yeah, my mum and dad normally watch these live streams. I don't know how many they've watched, how many of these live streams we've done, but yeah, it's been good. Uh, how many consecutive cruises have you done? N none. I've never done back-to-back -back cruises, never. Um, AV Geek Guy says, should I donate memberships this week? Sure thing, go ahead. I'm sure people <laughs> will accept if you want to donate them. <laughs> Um, is Sun Princess a good family ship? So this is a really good question. I was on board for three hours and I had the tour of everything as much as you can in three hours. And the way that I sort of think about it is if you're wanting a family cruise line where the kids are the center of it all, <laughs> then do a family cruise line. Do Royal Caribbean, do, you know, Disney, something like that. If you're taking a cruise and it's sort of a multi-generational cruise, maybe like grandparents, parents, aunties, uncles, everyone's together and you want stuff for kids, but also not everything is around the kids. I think it's a good middle ground. Uh, Hudson is actually here. So should we see if we should get him some snacks? He's come over, but I don't know where the snacks are, Hudson. Oh, here they are. Here's the snacks. These are not dreamies, and I'm... <laughs> he doesn't like them as much. But he... Oh, you're all wet, Hudson. I think it's raining outside. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Right. Let's do some high fives. you got to do high fives for snacks. Hudson, high five. Um... High five, high five, high five. Come on. Oh, good boy. You can't see his high fives. He's not that tall. Um, but he is doing them. Come on in. Come on. Be higher. Be higher. You can reach. Yay. Well done, Hudson. <laughs> He's so clever. Good boy, Hudson. <laughs> right. Well done. Um, do you ever go to the cruise port a day or two before the cruise? Yes. It depends where I'm going. You know, my last cruise was from Greece and I got up at, well, I got up at four in the morning um, <laughs> to make that journey. So by the time I got there, I was very tired. But also, it's different. It's only three hours on a plane. Obviously, I'm not going to fly to the US <laughs> and get on the cruise straight away. So yeah, for me, it just depends um, how far. Have you ever met Gary from Tips of Travelers on a cruise? I don't think I've met him on a cruise that's actually going. We've done ship visits together. We've been to events together, conferences, stuff like that but probably not an actual cruise. No, Gary tends to be on cruises that I'm not on and I tend to be on cruises he's not on. Although I have seen him do a lot of the ones that I have been on as well, which is always very interesting to watch. Uh, how many Hudsons got sold? It was 2093, 2093 version four, which is amazing, amazing. Um, I think the memberships are being given out. So that is very cool. Very, very cool. A uh, Britishism that I heard was rocket for what we call arugula in the US. I think that's how you say it, arugula. <laughs> it sounds funny to me. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely rocket here. Definitely rocket. Uh, Bill says, um, 
yeah, you got to meet Cruise Tips TV and Life Well Cruise. Yes, I did on board Sun Princess. It just worked out. I think it was one of those things, you know, when you really try and make something work and you really want it to work and it won't work, but then you just don't, you just, <laughs> you just don't try and it works. That was exactly what it was like. Exactly like that. Um, is MSC World Europa in your top best five cruises? Ah, it's probably my top best five ships. As far as the route went, I, I have done that so many times. I've been to every single port. There was nothing um, particularly like memorable that we did in any of the ports. We went to the aquarium in Genoa. We did things like that. But um, in terms of destinations, no. But in terms of ships, she's definitely one of my favorites. That is for sure. Uh, which cruise line offers the best included food? It's really tricky to answer questions about food because it really depends. So on the Celebrity Cruise, I found the food was really fresh. If you wanted fresh cut up peppers, you could have yellow, red or green. <laughs> That's the kind of thing. But then also I see complaints about it when people say, oh, I, there's no chicken tenders. Like for them, that's what they care about. Some people, they want vegetarian food. Some people are really annoyed when there's not enough meat. Like it depends on what you want, really. Um, if you do a cruise line like Virgin Voyages, where there's no specialty restaurants, that's kind of cool. But yeah, it depends what sort of food you like. Do you like British food? <laughs> do you want American food? Do you want, do you want pasta? Like, it's just, just depends. Um, love the food on Celebrity. Yes. Yes, I love the food on Celebrity too. Yeah, cruise boys are in the chat. They're off on Viva. Very, very exciting. Very exciting. Uh, would you consider a Virgin Voyage cruise again? Yes, I would. Um, the reason I haven't really booked one is I've been on one of the ships and the ships are exactly the same. So I don't feel like, oh, I really need to get in and see what, you know, I already know what it looks like. Um, and they've just not really been where I've been at, at the same time. So I'm not avoiding them. It just hasn't worked out. Um, do NCL provide a coffee maker for the room if you ask or a kettle? I don't think a coffee maker, probably a kettle if you ask. Um, yeah, celebrity definitely provide the kettle if you ask, which is good to know. Good to know. Um, arugula, isn't that a destination in the Caribbean? Sounds like it to me. Sounds like it, yes. Uh, do you think I should go on the new upcoming Queen Anne? Have you cruised with Cunard before? It, I think that would be my first question. Um, it looks really cool. I I would say yes. If you've been on a Cunard cruise and you like it, um, or you've done some research and you think you would like it, then yes. Then yes, yes, yes. Uh, do you have a favorite cruise line or does it boil down to destination for you? It, it boils down to who I'm going on the cruise with. You know, if I'm taking a friend who's never been on a cruise before and I want to blow their mind, it's going to be a very different cruise to if I'm going with my family somewhere and we want a relaxing break. Um, depends if I'm going with someone who wants formal dress, someone who doesn't want any any dressing up. Yeah, it depends. I'm happy with all of them. I've never done a cruise where I thought I wouldn't do that cruise again. I just thought, you know, oh, next time I won't, I'll bring whoever. <laughs> That's what I think. Have you stayed in a Costa Inside cabin? I have on Costa Luminosa. And what was it like? It was like, like, it was as if I unlocked new colors in my eyes that I had never seen before like the the whole room was like orange and yellow and red and the bathroom was green and blue it was really really colorful <laughs> it was really cool um it is it was dated you know that ship's kind of old costa luminosa but yeah that actually that cabin is coming up in my next youtube video because i'm doing a bit of a uh like a summary like an overview of inside cabins that i've done so definitely look out for that one definitely Oh my goodness, so many questions. Thank you so much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so there's there's no discount on this t-shirt today. This is just the t-shirt that I'm wearing because this, this stream is sponsored by Enjoy the Wood. So you can see these maps here and you can see them in every single video I've had since 2020. And I reached out to them and I said, you know, you can see here there's planes, there's boats, right? But I wanted something nautical. There was nothing nautical. So I reached out to them um, and we created something together, which is the reason that this live stream is sponsored. So let's have a look. Let's have a look in this little box what I made. So we have some. Oh, I don't want them to pop out. But they are little stickers, basically. The word pins is is not correct. They're not spiky. But there's little cruise ships. There's little anchors on there. And this, this you can't buy this. You only get this if you use code Emma Cruises. So that's kind of just like a little freebie. We made that. And I think that's pretty cool, right? I think that's pretty neat. I'm going to stick those on later. Boats aren't nautical. No, I, I, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's, it's yeah, 
Not good enough. Not not good enough. Uh, Jamie says, I have one of those. Enjoy the wood maps and would 100% recommend. Yes. So I have um, been in our Facebook group today and we have <laughs> we have so many pictures of people because I've had these maps since 2020 and I've been recommending them ever since. But here are three examples that we have. So you can see the different colors. The one that I'm giving away today is a large wooden one. I can't remember what color wood it is. Uh, but also you can have, you know, mine is blue in there. Um, they have all kinds of different colors. They also have really cute ones for kids that have like a koala or whatever animal on them, which is cool. Uh, I love your postings on Fridays. I'm doing a bingo card about how many times you push your hair behind your left ear. Thank you. I know you mean this in a nice way, but I get so many comments of people saying, I could not watch this live stream because you won't stop touching your nose and you won't stop touching your hair because I'm just a fidget, right? But I, I, if you don't want to watch me touch my hair, you don't have to, but it sounds like you're okay with that. So that is good. Um, have you been on a princess ship? I've been on lots of princess ships. Yes, I've been on Royal. I've been on Golden, which was sold. Now she's not with them anymore. I've been on Sky Princess and I was on Sun Princess for three hours <laughs> last week, which was very, very cool. Very cool. Uh, which cruise line do you have the highest tier and most points? That'll be Norwegian Cruise Line because that's the cruise line I started cruising with. I cruised with them when I was 11, then when I was 13. Um, and then again, I think I was 17. And that was what started my my cruise journey. I'm just going to pause for a second to have some squash. So this, this is posh squash. I get questions about squash in every live stream I do, but it's just diluted juice, basically. Normally, I have some sort of berries. But this, this is apple and elderflower from Wait Waitrose. If anyone's <laughs> from the UK, you'll know how posh that squash is. Um, do you have any sponsored videos by any, any upcoming sponsored videos by any cruise lines? Yes. So I'm going back to Alaska. And if you remember last year, Norwegian hired me to make three videos for their YouTube channel. And I said to everyone, please, please go and say something nice, please. And everyone did. And every, and it was fantastic. Uh, so they are hiring me to make a video about Alaska on their channel. And then I'll make the video, the normal kind of video about my cruise on my channel. So that's very, very exciting. My first cruise, as I said, was with Norwegian. So I'm recreating the exact itinerary, the same length, the same ports, everything. And I'm going to try and do sort of similar excursions and stuff, which I think would be very, very cool. Oh, thank you, Matt, for pointing this out. Every time I show something, it gets rid of my banner. Um, <laughs> so thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate it. It just saves me, you know, saying it. Uh, Sam says, can't wait for your Alaska videos. Also, the brilliant thing is, is because I'm doing this with Norwegian, they say, we want you to show excursions and Alaska, here is credit you can use for excursions. Whereas normally I would probably not do the excursions that I've booked because I, I booked one excursion that's $240, which is going to be incredible, <laughs> but it's not something I would normally do. Um, but yeah, I think, I always think it's better that, you know, it's quite rare that I work with cruise lines, but when I do, I get to have all the speciality meals and everything. And it kind of me means more, I think, coming from me when I say, oh, actually, you don't need that because I've done it. Uh, sometimes like people will say, oh, you don't need a balcony, but they've never had one. Whereas I started in a balcony cabin. My first cruise was in a balcony cabin, but I still promote the insides. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Alaska is really expensive. It is, especially when I have flights, you know, it's quite a long way to Alaska. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, have your team seen an increase in price and demand for fjord cruises as we edge closer to 2025? Yes. I was having this conversation just today and it's not just the cruises, it's the excursions they're selling out so far in advance. Um, yeah, it's a it's diluted fruit juice, pretty much. That is squash. On my celebrity cruise, one really nice thing about celebrity is they're definitely a more premium cruise line. And that means you can have the juice that's in the buffet all day. And I know that sounds like a really small thing. On most cruise lines, it's just there for breakfast. But when you're someone like me who I didn't have a drinks package, it was four dollars sixty for a cat can of Coke Zero. Like that's a lot, right? So I would go to the buffet and I would dilute like it was normally like fruit punch passion fruit, something like that, and make squash out of it, which was really good. And also there's tea, there's coffee, there's iced tea, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Daniel says, what is the size of the map behind you? So this one is a medium. And this one that I'm giving away, this one is a large. So well, it's quite heavy, actually. But this, these are the boxes that these come in. Um, and 
yeah, the uh, lovely company from Ukraine. And I'll just open this if I can avoid dropping it on the floor and show you what it's like. But this is a large. So mine is actually the smallest. And it's not small <laughs> by any account. Uh, but it comes in all of these pieces like this. And it's quite fun to stick them on the wall. Here is Canada. If we have anyone, anyone, anyone from Canada in, then say say in the chat. Uh, I just basically put up the. They give you corner pieces, and then I looked at a map, and I some of these islands, like I'm sure they're a bit wrong, uh, but I did see that. This was a great idea, uh, using a projector to project the world and then stick it on. <laughs> That's very, very clever. Oh, we've lost my things again. Let's bring them back, bring them back. But it didn't take too long to do this, and it's quite fun. I think it's quite fun. Right, let's put this put this away. So I'm going to be giving away one of these after after this stream, not, not right now. Um, but let's put this back. The website, if you do emmacruises.com forward slash competition, that is where I always have whatever competition I have. And right now that is the map. So if you can put in your email in there, that would be cool. <laughs> That's cheating. Yeah. See, the thing is, is I gave it my best guess. And it's also quite good to test your knowledge. You have a random island and you're like, where, where is this? <laughs> and then you have a look on the map and then you find it. Jamie says, are you going to sign the map you give away? I won't sign the actual map unless someone wants me to sign with a, like a Sharpie. I could sign it. But I'll, I always have a thank you cards that I put in there. So something like that. Oh, lots of people from Canada in here. So nice to see you. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. Have you changed your time zone in Canada? Like, it, does the US and Canada change their time zones at the same time? I don't know. I'm not sure. But yeah, lots, lots of people from Canada. Uh, Elliot says, do the cruises mind if I take food from the buffet to my room? No, and I do this most days on most cruises that I take. Uh, on my last one, they had an ice cream stand on the way out. So I would get ice cream, take it back to my room, eat it in bed. Like, that's the best. Yeah, they don't mind. Um, just, yeah, as much as you can carry, really, it doesn't matter. Uh, you did change your time zones. Why are we different? Doesn't make any sense, does it? Uh, you should sign Great Britain. Great Britain's actually kind of small. <laughs> um, yeah, like tiny, if you look at the map. How long does it take for shipping for the map? Oh, it depends where you are. Um, this one was, I'd say more than a week, but under two weeks, this one was. Um, but I'm in, in the UK, so it's closer to Ukraine, but yeah. Uh, normally pretty fast, you know, they're not, they have these already made. It's not the same as Hudson where they have to get an order and make them and stuff like that. Why do we still change time zones? So annoying. It is, it's, it's yeah, I, I don't think anyone really would mind if we stopped, but I guess it's hard to get everyone to do that. I see, you know, in Australia, you have half time zones. It blows my mind. Crazy. Uh, there should be a where's Emma alarm. <laughs> Yeah, see, this is a Britishism. It's it's where's Wally in the UK? It's not where's Waldo. I can't even say Waldo. It doesn't fit very well in my accent. Um, yeah, not all countries change their clocks. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I've heard that on some cruises in the Mediterranean, guests aren't respecting the smoking and vaping restrictions. What is your experience, says Eric? Good question. Um, I think it sort of depends on the cruise line, how seriously they take it. There's not really many cruise lines where you are allowed to smoke on your balconies anymore. One that you could is Fred Olsen, but they're getting rid of it from next year. So there's really not going to be many left. I think the German TUI perhaps are left. Uh, but apart from that, it should just be in smoking areas. I've never seen anyone smoke inside where they're not allowed or vape inside where they're not allowed on a cruise. I guess sort of the pushing of the boundaries would be, you know, if there's a smoking area outside by the pool, they're like outside of that, I guess. It, it's never been enough to bother me. Um, but I think you have to sort of take into account the cruise line, who's on the cruise. If you take an Italian cruise line, it seems like people in Italy smoke a lot more than people in the UK. I don't have any stats, <laughs> but it does. It seems that way. Yeah. Um, uh, Anna says, how do your travel services work? Do you charge people extra? So I'm not a travel agent myself. I'm just asked a lot, you know, who do you recommend? So I have my recommended travel agents on my website. It doesn't cost extra. It should never cost more to use a travel agent than book direct. And basically, if you don't use a travel agent, the cruise line just keeps that money. So you're either giving the cruise line the money or you're giving a travel agent the money. That's how I see it. And I might as well have 
free help. <laughs> That's what I think. But it is up to you, of course. Um, Paul says, can I get the Emma map add-on since I already purchased the map and it took a month to get to Boston? Uh, you can't, you would have to purchase something. <laughs> you don't have to necessarily purchase a map, I don't think. All it is, is if you buy something and you use the Emma Cruises discount, then you'll get the nautical pins in there. Um, but there's all kinds of things in there. You know, it doesn't have to be this full map. They have certain cities and yeah. Something like that. But yeah, say say leave a month maybe to get to the US, a couple of weeks if you're in Europe, I would say. Um, <laughs> apparently people who hate the changing of times don't hate daylight savings, they hate standard time. It, well, we just need to test it out. <laughs> just test it out for a while. Uh, do you plan to do any more cruises in Canada this year? I don't... Well, technically Alaskan cruises stop in Canada doesn't really count, I don't think. Um, it's just a technicality stop but i don't have any you know i took one recently from new york up to canada and i haven't got another one like that uh jack says why did you recommend pepsi max i am now addicted to it i don't know <laughs> i don't know when i come back from a cruise especially if it's a coke ship pepsi max tastes so much better it tastes so good uh do you like sunsets and sunrises on cruises I, I don't see sunrises on cruises i'm not a morning person um Although, like, when I think about it, I have seen some really impressive sunrises, but they've always been when I've had an early excursion or I've had, like, something I have to get up for. Uh, we took one... Sorry, it's really hard to, like, not... If I see, like, the moderators block stuff, I see weird things and then they disappear. <laughs> but we saw a really impressive sunrise when we went to Loch Ness. That was very cool. I had to get up very early for that, me and my mum. Um... How do you feel about the situation with uh, Ben and David and MSC? So what happened here, as far as I can tell, is they were told to stop filming by MSC, not in a very nice way, um, and they've got a refund. So I think really, unless you're filming with professional, great, like big cameras, no one is ever going to look at you. Like, don't worry that you're going to go on a cruise and try and film something with your iPhone and someone's going to tell you off. That is not how it works. So I think it is all OK. I think it's OK. An Alaska sunrise over an iceberg. <laughs> that sounds good. But how about a sunset, right? Isn't a sunset just as good as a sunrise? <laughs> I see the sunsets every single time. Um, my favorite ports on my Canada and New England cruise. I couldn't see most of it through the rain, to be honest with you. My favorite sight that I saw on that cruise was everyone with their yellow ponchos. It was so funny. It was like, it looked like ghosts were floating around. It was interesting. Um, can you shout out an eight week old baby named Griffin? He's a big fan. A bit, I have an eight week old fan. That is very impressive. Um, yeah, Jamie says, golden rule, just be respectful to those around you. Yeah, I I never film more than two or three seconds at a time. Um, I actually took a cruise a while ago and I was on board. I don't know if you remember, but it was a cycling cruise on a barge and there were 19 people on there and it sort of got towards the end of the cruise and the owner was like, are you, are you going to film anything? And I was like, I have, I'm done <laughs> because I don't, you know, I'll only ever really film the back of people's heads and I only film for a couple of seconds in the time that it takes other people to take a picture I think to be honest I'm quite quite fast at it now so it's um yeah it is okay it is okay uh have you been on a cruise where guests had a wedding yeah I've seen plenty of people get married on cruises sometimes you'll see in the main dining room someone who's in like a very impressive dress or you'll see people on the promenade deck sometimes normally they'll close off you know the area you know just wandering into someone's wedding but yeah it's pretty pretty common um, do you watch cruise YouTube or do you watch totally different content? I, w I watch a mix of things. I think the good thing about YouTube is it's not like everything I watch, I have to do. <laughs> you know, it's not just sometimes I watch things about, you know, people are doing this crazy hair thing or they're sewing something. I can't do that. And I'm never going to and I don't want to. And that's not the point. And I think that's what what is quite nice about YouTube. You know, the majority of people who watch my videos are just curious. What is it like? Yeah. Uh, do you use a GoPro or your phone or something fancier? So 90, 95% of my content is filmed on an iPhone. I do have a very small DJ, uh, like a, it just keeps it smooth. If I'm outside, then I'll use those for the blue sky shots, but it's smaller than a phone. Um, and I do have an Insta360, which is the one that's on the stick that looks like a drone. I could see cruise lines banning those, to be honest, because it's kind of a bit weird, <laughs> but it's okay. I only ever do it when it... Uh, I'll normally stay on when we're in port and I'll never film when anyone is around. So, yeah, but it does seem a bit weird. But 
if cruise lines want to ban professional filming equipment, that is fine with me. Just leave me my phone and I'll be okay. If you're, you know, thinking about creating YouTube videos and you think you need tech, you absolutely do not need tech. Sound is probably more important than video. Um, but you can just do what I do and just film at home, like record the voiceover at home if you want. Uh, Paul said, just order the map. They have 50% off for the next five hours. Yes, I think their discounts and stuff are based on you. <laughs> so I don't want to say everyone gets 50% off for the next whatever. Um, it's based on, you know, you. Like if it's your first time going to the website, then perhaps 50% off, which is very cool. Uh, how many Hudsons were donated to the Mercy ships? There was 174. <laughs> yes. Uh, and I know that because I had a conversation earlier with my US agent, Dan, uh, because we're sending them to Dan and then Dan is sending them on to Mercy Ships. The headquarters are in Texas. He's in Texas. I know Texas is massive, but he can send it by courier. Um, 70, yeah, 174 at last count. I think that's right, which makes me laugh because I think it's going to be like, you know, Harry Potter, where all the letters come down the chimney and they come in the windows. It's going to be like that. <laughs> but with Hudson's and also everyone, everyone has entered their name and the address slightly differently. So I'm not sure if they will all go together um, <laughs> or if they will go one at a time. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, excited to bring my Captain Hudson on a cruise in May. Amazing. Uh, Liam says any updates on the Hudson book. So we are pretty much good to go with book one. Uh, book two, I have the illustrations for and book three, we're just getting the illustrations for now. So when we launch, we're going to launch with three books because go hard or go home, right? And we have sort of five in the pipeline. So that's very, very exciting. But yes, soon, I hope soon, I hope it does. There's a lot more that goes into it than I realized when I started, but it's good. Um, have you got any cruises booked for July? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, Jamie says a ball pit filled with Hudson's would be the best real old toy I'm not putting real Hudson in a ball pit <laughs> that'd be terrifying <laughs> that's so funny but yes exactly Dan was saying he might make a big fort with them and take a picture and stuff I'm seeing the weirdest comments oh my goodness I'm just going to screenshot those weird comments <laughs> Uh, do the televisions have a lot of channels or their own advertising? It really depends on the cruise lines. On some of them, now they will have on-demand movies, they'll have on-demand TV shows, but some of them are just sort of TV, like old style channels that just go round and round and round. Um, what was I on? It was on Azamara. The Sound of Music was on something like 12 times a day across three channels. <laughs> it was crazy. Um yeah, no, don't put Hudson in a ball pit. A kid would pee on Hudson. Oh, my goodness. Uh, will the Hudson books be available as an ebook? It is my intention to do ebooks. Yes. I'm sure that opens a whole new can of skills that I need to learn. Um, but we will see. Will you try an ambassador cruise again? Yes, probably. Um, I do look at them sometimes. It would be quite an easy one for me to do, like a last minute one. So I think, you know, I don't have to organize flights. Uh, it, I would probably cruise from. London Tilbury, <laughs> I would guess. So yes. Do you think you will always continue to do Friday live streams? Or are you getting fed up of them after four years? They are completely different than they were four years ago. And these go really fast for me. These go really fast. And it's just, it's so nice because the thing is, is I have all different social media accounts. I have YouTube. But if I make a YouTube video, like it'll show it to a certain amount of people. If I put it on Instagram and it will show it to a certain amount of people. But if I'm here, there's 753 people here. So if I want to say we sold 2,093 Captain Hudson version 4s, I know you hear it. <laughs> and that's really good. And these are so different. You know, I like to share about my cruises. That's kind of why I started this whole thing. I used to, you know, go back. Uh, to my friends and say, oh my goodness, I just got off Norwegian Breakaway. Can you believe they did this in comparison to Norwegian Getaway? <laughs> Norwegian Breakaway and Getaway? And they don't care. Of course they don't. But here, people do, which is just crazy. And, you know, when we started live streams four years ago, we would have 40, 50 people in there. Um, and the same people are still here now, which is just crazy to me. It's so cool. Uh, Vanessa just ordered a map. That is absolutely amazing. Yes, you should just, as long as you've used the Emma Cruises code, you should get the pins that are that we've made. So I hope you like them because it's, I didn't make, I didn't make them myself. I'm not like cutting out the wood, but it's my designs. <laughs> so yeah. What does Hudson do when you are cruising? Sleep 99% of the time. He sleeps most of the time anyway. Uh, he does what he wants. 
he goes outside, he talks to his friends, he, I don't know, I don't know what's going on inside his head. Not much, <laughs> not much. Um, is there a link to your cruise history? No, good question, Connie, but no, there isn't. I do have it. You know, I have it in my uh, uh, computer. <laughs> I was like, in my brain, in my computer. I haven't got it on my website or anything like that, though. Um, I could do if anyone is interested in it. It would be quite good, actually, because there's a lot. I get a lot of questions that is just, Emma, have you cruised on this ship? Have you cruised on that? Um, yeah. Uh, I've never had, I guess, apart from shaving my head, <laughs> that's the scariest and most frightening cruise ship moment. And that was not scary or frightening. That was just nerve wracking and really weird. Yeah, that was for charity. If you just joined for the first time, I didn't just randomly shave my head on a cruise ship stage. The video is on my channel if you want to watch it. Uh, Adam says, how old is Hudson? Roughly 10, maybe. Um, he's an adopted cat. He's a cat protection cat. And when we saw him, they said he was about five and I've had him about five years. So I made him up a birthday. His birthday is the day I got him. Basically, that's what I've decided. So I've decided he's 10. <laughs> he, I don't know. He could be anything. Uh, have you been following the Ultimate World Cruise and what do you think about it? I kind of, has the drama died down now? I don't know. I'm not up to date with it, but yeah, it's interesting. So I made a video about why I'm not really interested in taking world cruises and I sort of touched on this a little bit. Um, but yeah, not, not really a cruise that I would want to be on with all this drama happening on it. Uh, are you not afraid for Hudson running away or being attacked outside? So m almost all cats in the UK are outside cats. Uh, we don't have... I feel like coyotes. I feel like that's a problem for cats in other countries. We don't have any like big birds that pick up cats. There's no real other than cars. That's the only thing that we're sort of worried about with our cats. Um, but he loves it. Like he has all of his friends and my neighbors send me pictures of Hudson with their cats and stuff. And he does go into the neighbor's house sometimes, which is naughty. It's not allowed, <laughs> but he's okay. Um, <laughs> is nail polish okay on a cruise? Absolutely, of course. I normally have plastic nails on for my cruises. These are not my nails. Um, and I just stick them on before the cruise. And sometimes I change them midway through because I can. <laughs> because I can. Um, yeah, to add to your have you cruised to list, have you cruised to Australia? I haven't. It's like ultimate bucket list for me. But the thing is, is if I'm going to Australia, I want to go there for a long time, right? Like it's not somewhere you go for a couple of weeks. I'd want to go there for a month or something. Um, are you on Shipmate? I have I have downloaded this app maybe about five years ago. So technically, kind of, maybe, <laughs> but uh, I don't use it. No, I don't. But yeah, I see what you mean. That has the history, I think, on it, doesn't it? I don't remember. Yeah, as long as he's safe. Yeah, he is a, he's a happy little chap for sure. Everyone knows him. <laughs> so it's kind of cool uh yeah you can't bring on a normal on a normal cruise you can't bring cats or dogs um if you have a service dog of course then yes you can and they have normally in the crew areas or they'll have somewhere they'll have like a little doggy toilet for the guide dogs which is really cute um <laughs> did you have a balcony and did you take your mattress outside to enjoy a cookie so i think this is in relation to i haven't watched the video but i saw uh tony has a video out about someone who dragged their mattress outside and i think that were they banned from the cruise line or something um i mean i wouldn't want to go on a cruise and sleep in a mattress where other people have had it outside that seems gross right so yeah i understand uh, how often do you cruise solo? Is it odd and stressing to dine solo on a cruise in a non-buffet setting? So I don't cruise solo anymore uh, because of my channel. That's just not something that I can consider. Um, but I don't think so. I have a lot of friends that cruise solo. They absolutely love it. There's lots of people in the chat who enjoy cruising solo. And I think what I would choose if I was cruising solo is I wouldn't choose a cruise line where I have a fixed table every single day because you'll if you do want a table share, they're your mates and you'll have them the entire time. What I like is when I've done cruise lines like P&O, you can table share, but you're basically getting to the restaurant and saying, yeah, I'll table share. And then tomorrow, yeah, I'll table share. And you're given whoever is there. And I think that's good because if you like someone, you can find them again and you can eat dinner with them again. But if you don't, you don't have to eat dinner with them awkwardly every single day. Uh, so when I did a P&O cruise, we had a table for 10. And we did the same dinner again at the end to see how our cruise went, which was really cool. Um, do luxury cruise lines allow dogs? It doesn't matter how much, how luxury it is. Cruise lines generally don't, <laughs> generally don't. Um, 
I haven't booked Queen Anne, no. Uh, which cruise line has the slickest embarkation? I think it would probably be Celebrity, Royal Caribbean. Their app is very, very good. I think it took definitely under five minutes when we boarded Infinity. Uh, I just like the ones where I've done everything in the app and I have a QR code. Same with Princess, that, that kind of thing. I think they're good. Um, Adam says, now you need Dreamies to sponsor you. Well, the thing is, is I can't guarantee Hudson would ever come to the live stream. <laughs> so we could do a live stream sponsored by Dreamies and he wouldn't show up. But yes, for me, this is my first sort of live stream sponsored like this. Uh, but I think it just makes perfect sense. You know, I went to this company and I said, let's create something. And I want to be able to give it to people. And uh, I might as well get the word out and just have this is my discount. At Emma Cruises today instead of my normal t-shirts. Uh, we'll be back to normal t-shirts, I think next week but yeah these are really really cool and i think i think everyone should have one i don't see why not um yeah five minutes is crazy i mean when we embarked celebrity infinity there was barely anyone else in the embarkation hall we boarded about 1 30 i think too barely anyone there it's really cool another perk of cruising on a small cruise ship i did find out i think it was 78 percent full and um, which might not sound that that small but it really felt, you know, there was a lot of space per person. That's a big benefit, I think. Um, mm, mm, mm. I finally booked my first cruise after 2020. One was cancelled. What is your tip? Top tip for a first timer? Problem is, is I have a fat 7,000 cruise tips in my head. So how do I pick one? Um, so maybe my tip is about which other tips you should seek out and which ones you shouldn't. Um, I think um, I would be inclined to say don't go on Cruise Critic and read the reviews. I don't do that until I get back from the cruise. I think it's hard, you know, don't join Facebook groups where everyone's just complaining about it. Um, I hate it. I really hate it when I see someone who's booked a cruise. They're so excited. And then they say, oh, well, you know, whatever their name is from Brett had this problem. And like, you just don't need any of that stuff. You just need to be excited. If you want to come back and read the reviews, then do that. Um, but yes, just... Like, yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> it's a top don't do. Uh, Connie says, drink lots of water. Yeah, drink lots of water. I think going with the flow is the main thing you need for a cruise, really, because sometimes the itinerary will change. Uh, maybe weather will mean that they can't dock somewhere. And like, that's that's fine. But you just have to go with the flow. Oh, took 12 minutes to board Avia in Southampton. That's good. It took us maybe half an hour, I would say. Maybe maybe more than that. Um yeah, it wasn't as fast as Celebrity, but that sounds good. Yeah, relax and enjoy yourself, of course. Relax, that is absolutely the best thing. Uh, that's the whole point, right? I think sometimes people forget that this is fun. <laughs> this is your free time. So enjoy it. Make the most out of it. If things go wrong, things go wrong on every every trip I ever take, something goes wrong. Um, but it doesn't ruin the whole trip. <laughs> I think that's the main thing. Oh, Bill says, I asked about the map the first live stream I attended. And I felt really bad when I learned it was linked in the description. <laughs> then I see almost every live stream someone asked the same question I did. Yeah, every single live stream that I've ever done since 2020, someone's asked about these maps. So I thought this would be a good way to sort of get the word out about it. Uh, where is the best place to get free water that isn't the bathroom tap? If you go to the buffet, that's probably the best place. If you're in the main dining room, they'll give you water as standard. I think people worry sometimes that the, the waiters are going to care that you don't want to drink <laughs> in the main dining room. But I went with my family on Celebrity Infinity. At no point did any of us drink anything that wasn't water in the main dining room because no one had a drinks package. And you need to hydrate. It just seems like a good time to hydrate with meals and then you can have a drink afterwards. That's what I think anyway. <laughs> plan tight but run loose have everything sorted then go with the flow that sounds good yes uh is southampton big and overwhelming for first timers i think there's many different terminals in southampton so each one is okay if everyone was together that would be crazy but you're only going to go to one terminal you're only going to see one terminal um and normally it's very well organized there yeah it's fine um I don't really understand this question that says, are they adding gratuities as a convenience fee and not telling passengers? Cruise lines have never added gratuities and not told passengers. It's very, very well mentioned, I think. Um, not everyone's going to see it, of course. But yeah, most cruise lines, if they're American cruise lines, they will be adding on tips every single day. Gratuities, they're called. Um, and the idea is that they do that so that people don't have to tip in cash. That's the plan. 
I will say if you take a cruise with a cruise line like Celebrity, they added on daily gratuities every day, which was $18 a day per person per night. Then every single drink we ordered had 20% gratuity added on. And there was still a line for extra gratuity that I had to cross out every single time. And I felt bad, but I'm not tipping three times on a Coke Zero. <laughs> like a can of Coke Zero. I just need a vending machine. Uh, but yeah, cruise cruise lines tell you, you know, if you're cruising with a British cruise line, um, if you're cruising with a cruise line like MSC, but you're from the UK, there won't be any gratuities. But yeah, if I'm cruising with an American cruise line, I just see that as part of the cruise fare. I just prepay it. I don't know why it's like that. I don't like it like that. I would prefer them just to pay their own stuff rather than making me do it. But it is how it is. It is how it is. So yeah, but they do tell you, they absolutely do tell you. But this is the sort of thing that you'll, you know, go on a Facebook group or something or a cruise critic and someone will say, oh, they never told me this is terrible. Well, everyone else like read it. So <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, even when you, um, but when you book like a, uh, perhaps maybe some people don't have good travel agents. You know, the, the question I always get when I book a cruise from my travel agent is, do you want to prepay the gratuities? Um, yeah. Yeah, they should pay their stuff. I'm glad we're in agreement, yes. Uh, also got ice water at bars without issue. Yeah, absolutely, they'll give you water. Um, yeah, I had the weird situation when I was on Sun Princess because I was just on there for three hours. I wasn't a cruise passenger, but I could still go to the bars and get ice water in a glass. Like, that's totally okay. Totally okay. Um, does celebrity feel like a class above the new NCL ships? It's, a, it's completely different, I would say. I think it's a different... Um, are you are you sort of comparing Celebrity Edge, like the new Celebrity with the new Norwegian? Because I suppose they both have old ships that are more similar. I would say they started more similar 20 years ago, but now they're quite different. You know, on Celebrity, in the main dining room, every day you couldn't wear shorts for dinner. You had to wear trousers or a dress or for some reason you can wear skirts and dresses, but you can't wear shorts, which I find really weird because a skirt is just a short but open <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, but there's a lot more sort of traditional cruising on celebrity. There's more dress codes. Um, and the entertainment is more sort of classic cruise ship singing and dancing. Whereas on NCO, it's a lot of game shows. It's go karts. It's that kind of thing. So, yeah, there's just a different audience there for both of them, I think. And I like them both. Um travel agents don't tell you gratuities added on at the end of the cruise, then whatever travel agent you're using is just terrible. <laughs> that is awful. I'm sorry that happened. But uh, yeah, you should you should definitely be made aware. Martin says, sounds like you need a new travel agent. Yes, if you're in the US and you need a travel agent, I work with a fantastic team. Um, the guy, Dan, who I was talking about earlier, who's collecting all the Hudsons. Uh, if you go to my website, book a cruise, it'll come through to Dan. Here's my recommendation. Uh, Adam says, I feel the bathrooms are nicer on celebrity ships myself. I mean, my favorite cabin that I've ever had was Norwegian Prima. It is perfect. I was obviously on Celebrity Infinity, which is an older ship. Um, I've also been on Celebrity Edge. I don't remember that bathroom particularly, <laughs> but I think it was all right. But then I had one of the infinite verandas on uh, Celebrity Edge, and I would pick a normal balcony over that. that. That is for sure. That is for sure. Yes, Richard says, don't look at too many photos. Let the ship surprise you. Yes. What I like to do, this is probably really weird, and I wouldn't recommend you do this, but because I'm going on the cruise and I want to be surprised by stuff, I go on Google and I search for Celebrity Infinity Reviews and I set the year to 2001 to 2008. So I can see all of the crazy carpets and all of the, like, how it was at the beginning. I find that really interesting. And then when I go on, I'm like, wow. This is modern. <laughs> this is so different, which is kind of cool. Yeah, Prima has really big bathrooms. And it had um, it had a drawer in the bathroom, which I know is a really small thing. But I don't really like stuff all over anything, really. But being able to just scoop everything into a drawer, shut it, I really like that. Small things like that, definitely. Yeah, Sam says, love having cotton towels in the public bathrooms on Celebrity. Yeah, little hand towels. That's how you know it's a bit more premium. Uh, they also have blankets just around the ship, which I think is quite nice. If you're sat by the pool and it's cold, you have a blanket. That's quite fancy. But normally, you know, I do a lot of budget cruises. If you were to do an MSC cruise and a Celebrity cruise, you get things that you would have to pay for on MSC. Like we had included transfer buses. On MSC, they would have cost us like 15 euros. But normally the MSC cruise will be half the price of the Celebrity cruise. So it's just, yeah, both good, but it just depends what you want. Um, 
Ooh, Marco says, our agent was able to offer us onboard credit that would offset all the tips on the 11-day cruise, left a tip for our room attendant. She was amazing. Yes, absolutely. There's also a lot of things that you can do for your room attendant or for the waiters that I think are nice, but they're not cash. If you don't want to do cash, you could offer, you know, I'm going into town. Do you want me to pick you up any food? <laughs> like, they can't always get off in all the ports. Uh, so sometimes people will bring, you know, I'm from the UK, you might bring loads of custard creams, right? Biscuits. And then you're going to the Caribbean and you find crew members on board who are from the UK and you give them a packet of custard creams that they may have not had in six months. Like that's really nice, right? <laughs> so yeah, if you want other things that are not cash, um, on my website, emmacruises.com, I have like gifts, gifts for crew members who are not cash. And I think it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, how far in advance do you book your cruises? Anywhere from a couple of weeks to a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, I have a combination of all of them in there. Uh, don't forget to like. Yeah, if you can like the live stream, that would be much appreciated. It just gives YouTube a good sign that, you know, you like this and it will follow you around. Uh, because just because you're subscribed doesn't mean you're going to see my videos at all. Um, yeah. We are almost at the end of this live stream. So if you have any fast, quick fire questions you can get in, I'll do my best uh, to answer as many as I can. But yeah, this hour goes so fast and I say that every single time. <laughs> yeah, Jamie says, don't forget there are lots of behind the scenes crew you'll never see. So don't just tip your um, weight stuff. Yes, I went in the laundry on a Norwegian cruise recently and the part, imagine how much laundry there is. Imagine how many towels there are. <laughs> if there's 5,000 guests, how many towels there are? Crazy. Um, if you give give cash, they could buy the creams. No, you can't buy things like custard creams if you're in the Caribbean. There's no no way. It's like lo local things, local things. Uh, have you found any ducks recently? I have not found any. No, um, I don't think I've been looking though. I think if I if I remember and I look, then I do find them. Uh, these are these are rubber ducks, by the way, not just regular ducks on cruise ships. Uh, when do you think is the best deals two years in advance or two weeks prior to the cruise so if you if you can do anything <laughs> book a cruise as soon as that itinerary and that ship is launched if that's two and a half years three years in advance that's the cheapest price it very rarely goes down from there but you have to book two and a half years in advance which most people don't want to do which is why it's cheap then the price tends to go up up up, up down blah, 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 blah. and then the last two to three months it goes down again normally, but it may never go down again. So if you're feeling risky, you can wait, but it may be completely good. There may not be any cabins left. So there are pros and cons to all of them. Um, I do have a lot of information about this. If you go to emmacruises.com and put in your email, I have a free email course. So it is this, exactly this. It is, you know, where do cruises go? What are the peak times? How do you book it? When do you book it? What do you use to book it? What are you going to have to pay for? What are the cabins like? What about seasickness? What about drinks? Everything I know is in this free course. You just put in your email and it'll email you every three days with some thing from my brain, <laughs> basically. And that's probably the best place to go. Um, and then you'll get my weekly newsletters. And that is like the best way for me to keep in contact with you. If I want to tell you, you know, I tell people when these live streams are, it is my weekly newsletter that I send that out on because that's the only way I can guarantee people get a message <laughs> pretty much. So please make sure I have your email address. Please, please, please. Um, ketchup pizza, is that a thing? Should be. I put pizza on my ketchup. Uh, and yes, ketchup pizza for tea tonight. Absolutely, yes. As soon as I get off these live streams, I always have a just a frozen pizza. Um, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. You have to book a cruise tomorrow. What ship would you choose? Am I using my own money? And I am I using... <laughs> Does it have to be physically possible? Because if I could just go on a cruise tomorrow, um, I'll probably pick Icon of the Sea, something like that, something really cool. But logistically, that's not going to work. <laughs> uh, pizza on ketchup, not the other way around. I mean, to be fair, I normally get the pizza, cut it up, pull the slices out, put the ketchup in the middle, and then bloop. So it's on both sides. The more, the better, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, Prima is a really, really gorgeous stateroom. Yes, really, not, really sort of just light and spacious and just little things were not annoying. Everything just soft closed. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, if you've not already seen my Prima content, it is split between my YouTube channel and Norwegian's YouTube channel, which is Crazy cool. I think I'm on their website as well, which for me, as someone who started cruising with Norwegian when I was 11, that is dream come true. Pinch myself. Crazy. Uh, Emma's free course has lots of information. Thank you very much. It took me 
years to put together all of this. So I'm glad that it is useful. Uh, Lee says, where's the newsletter sign up? If you go emmacruises.com forward slash news, that is one of the signups. Uh, there's many on my website. It's in every single post because that's really where I want people to go. <laughs> right. So thank you so much to the moderators who looked after this chat. I really appreciate it. I am not going to be here at the same time next week, but I'll be back the week after that. And I'm I'm going back to the sunshine again, which is so exciting. Oh, it's amazing. So yes, thank you so much, everybody. Just a reminder, Emma Cruises is the discount off everything. And it is these ones that you've seen in my videos since 2020. I got this one. So I'm very excited. Thank you all so much for your lovely, lovely comments. And yes, emmacruises.com for slash competition is whatever latest competition I have. And this latest one is this, this uh, wooden map that we have here, this big one. And I will, I will sign it if someone wants it or I'll, I'll do whatever you want. I don't know. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm going to go and have pizza. Uh, have a brilliant weekend. Thank you for coming. Bye.